Hello everyone and welcome back to Forensic Solutions. Today we are going to talk about what is cyber warfare and its types. Cyber warfare is usually defined as a cyber attack or series of attacks that target a country. It has the potential to wreak havoc on government and civilian infrastructure and disrupt critical systems resulting in damage to the state and even loss of life. There is however a debate among cyber security experts as to what kind of activity constitutes cyber warfare. The US Department of Defense DOD recognizes the threat to national security posed by malicious use of the internet but doesn't provide a clearer definition of cyber warfare. Some consider cyber warfare to be a cyber attack that can result in death. Cyber warfare typically involves nation state preparing cyber attacks on another. But in some cases, the attacks are carried out by terrorist organizations or non-state actors seeking to further the goal of a hostile nation. There are several examples of alleged cyber warfare in recent history. Five types of cyber warfare attacks. The first is sabotage. Government organization must determine sensitive information and the risk if it is compromised. Hostile governments or terrorists may steal information destroy it or leverage insider threats such as disaster or careless employees or government employees with affiliation to the attacking country. Second is denial of service, DOS attacks. DOS attacks prevent legitimate users from accessing a website by flooding it with the fake request and forcing the website to handle this request. This type of attacks can be used to disrupt critical operations and systems and block access to sensitive websites by civilians, military and security personals or research bodies. Third is electrical power grid. Attacking the power grid allows the attacker to disable critical systems, disrupt infrastructure and potentially result in bodily harm. Attacks on the power grid can also be disrupt communication and render services such as text messages and communication unusable. Fourth is Propaganda attacks Attempts to control the minds and thoughts of people living in or fighting for a target country. Propaganda can be used to expose embracing truths, spread lies to make people lose trust in their country or side with their enemies. Fifth is economic disruption. Most modern economic systems are operated using computers. Attackers can target computer networks of economic establishments such as stock markets, payment systems and banks to steal money or block people from accessing the funds they need. So this was all about for today's video. Do like, subscribe and share our video and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay secure.